Namaste everyone and welcome to Science Unfiltered. Today we'll be drawing the Lewis dot structure of HCOOH which is known as formic acid and by its IUPAC name it's called as methanoic acid. Now the name formic has come from the Latin word formica. Formica is the Latin word which was used for red ants. Why is it so? Because whenever a red ant bites you, it releases formic acid, this particular molecule, inside your skin, inside your dermis. So this uh, molecule is uh, termed as formic acid. Okay, so this was a very brief uh, talk about the nomenclature of this particular molecule. Now let's talk about the structure. But before diving into the structural part, we are going to talk about the electronic configurations of the different elements present in this molecule which are respectively hydrogen, carbon and oxygen. Now the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1 and it has just a single valence electron okay VE valence electron. Talking about carbon in its ground state its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2 and the orbitals are like this 1s 2s and 3 orbitals for 2p subshell 2 electrons in its excited state I'm talking about carbon in its excited state what happens is that one of the electrons from the 2s uh, subshell jumps and sits uh, in one of the orbitals in the 2p subshell which makes its orbital diagram like this 1s is going to be uh, the way it was before now we have got a single electron in the 2s subshell in 2p subshell we have now got three unpaired electrons okay so in total we have got one two three four four ue four unpaired electrons which means now it will need four extra electrons from different atoms while making bonds here 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 and here which means it will make four bonds now to complete uh, to uh, satisfy its need for electrons talking about oxygen i've got no space here left so i'm going to write it here now the electronic configuration of oxygen is 1s2 2s2 2p4 okay now one is, is going to be similarly like this, 2s also is going to be similarly like this. I'm going to draw only for 2p4. So 2p subshell has, yes, three orbitals. Now let's draw the electrons, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it has got two unpaired electrons, which means it needs two electrons here and here to complete its deficiency for electrons. Okay, I've got a mosquito on my camera. Okay, so you see hydrogen is going to make a single bond, carbon is going to make four bonds and oxygen will make two bonds. Now let's dive into the structural part of formic acid. Now, you see there are two parts in this molecule. One is the hydrogen and the second part is the COOH part. The hydrogen and the COOH part. Now this group, actually it should be written like this. Now this group is called as the carboxylic group. You might have learned about this particular uh, group in the organic chemistry, carboxylic group. And it is bonded like this. Carbon makes four bonds. So two bonds it makes with an oxygen. We've got OH left. Oxygen makes a single bond with carbon and you know as I told you just now that ox oxygen makes two bonds. So the second bond oxygen will make with hydrogen and hydrogen makes just a single bond. So this hydrogen, this oxygen and as well as this ox oxygen, they have all completed their need for electrons. But what about uh, carbon? Carbon has presently made just one, two and three uh, bonds. Whereas, uh, as I told you just now, that carbon makes four bonds. So, this is where this hydrogen comes. And it makes a bond with a uh, carbon. 
if you want to count the valence electrons of different uh, different uh, atoms present in this molecule we can do so see hydrogen has just a one just one electron carbon has four valence electrons one two three four five oxygen has six valence electrons one uh, yeah one two three four five six now again this hydrogen has one uh, valence electrons we have got another I'm going to remove this thing uh, we have got another oxygen here it has also got six uh, valence electrons one two three four five six and this uh, oxygen has made double bond with the carbon so one and two now let's uh, uh, count the number of valence electrons after bond formation for this uh, oxygen one two three four five six seven eight it has completed its octate talking about this hydrogen it will make a single bond with carbon as shown here it has completed its need uh, for electrons by completing its fulfilling its duplet d u p l e t not octet duplet so one two it has also com it has completed its duplet let's talk about carbon it will make a single bond with oxygen as shown here now let's uh, count the number of uh, valence electrons one two three four five six seven eight after bond formation obviously so it has also completed its octet let's talk about talk about this oxygen one two three four five six seven eight okay there will be a bond as shown here one two three four five six seven eight it has also completed its octet i'm talking about this oxygen let's count the number of electrons for this hydrogen and obviously it will be completing its duplet d-u-p-l-e-t and for octet it is o-c-t-e-t now for hydrogen one two it has completed its octet so this is the structure of methanoic acid which is also known as formic acid and i told you the word formic came from the latin word formica which was used for formica or used for red ants thank you very much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video happy reading see you next time thank you